So now we're going to look at how we can use a set of data, like an array, for example, to manipulate the elements within our document. And there's a few methods for this. So the first one is the data method, and you call this on a selection of elements from the document, and you give it an array as an argument. And what it does is it binds each item in the array to each element that you selected. So in this example, we've got a list with two list items, as you can see here, and we have an array with four items. And what I've done is I've just done some selections to um, attach the selection of all the list items to the items variable. And on this selection, we can call the data method to bind this array here. So we'll give it this things array. And what it does is it basically binds each of these to each of these. So it'll bind the dogs to old item one, it'll bind water to old item two, for example. And this returns it kind of as a selection object and we can assign this to a variable called bindings, for example. And what we can do is we can use this selection and call methods on it. So for example, we can use the text method and what we can say is for each of these, change the title, change the text of this to updated item. And it will do that right there. Now, one of the problems here is that we have four elements in here and we only have two list items here. So we need a way to create new list items for uh, when we don't have enough. So that's where the enter method comes in. So what the enter method does is it kind of creates a placeholder for all the elements in the array which don't have a selection and you can tell it what to do with that. So here you can do bindings dot enter and this is basically said we're basically saying what it what we want it to do for each of these two array elements that don't have an associated list item. So what we can do is we can tell it to create a list item and we can say to set the text of this to create item. So what it's done now is it's updated the items here like so where we have a list item and then it's created two new ones just so we have an element for each of these items in the array. And in this example, what it's doing is we have a data set with A, B, and C, and it selects an unordered list, and it selects all the list items, and it binds it to the data set. And then for each of these array items, which don't have a selected element, it adds a new list item and gives it the text new item. So what it wants us to do here is it wants us to first select the body and then select all the header two elements just in case we have some already. And we want to create a new header two element for each of the items in this data set array and give it the text new title. So the first thing we need to do is select the body and we can do that with d3.select and give it body as a string. And then we need to select from the body all the h2 elements. So we would do select all and then pass in h2 as the type of element we want to select. And then we need to bind it to this data set right here. So we would say dot data and data set. And now because we don't have any header two elements, we need to create them. So we would do dot enter and then we'll say for each of these array elements that don't have header two, we want to create a new header two and we want to give it the text new title. And it's created them right here. And that's all we need to do pretty much. So we can just run the text and perfect. 